good morning my dear students so today we are going to discuss lesson 2 speed velocity and acceleration for studying this lesson the previous class we discuss sometimes one is distance and another one is displacement so distance is the length of the total path covered an object and displacement is the shortest the minimum distance between the two points at a particular direction so in the case of a displacement we will consider the direction but in the case of a distance we don't want to consider the direction in any direction we don't have any problem but in the case of a displacement at a particular direction only and both of them the length the measure so that's why unit meter both of them un si unit meter and we can measure other units centimeter kilometer like that we can measure the si unit is meter and after that we discuss the physical quantities we are classifying them uh, there are two types one is vector quantities and another one is scalar quantities vector quantities means the physical quantities having both magnitude and direction means uh, it has a value and we want to say the direction for example force uh, we discussed that the our weight is a force gravitational force so it has direction because it reaches to uh, the force direction shows to the center of the earth so that why weight is a force and it is a vector you know weight is a force it, its unit is newton grade some we studied the difference between mass and weight we will say what is your weight we will say ask like that that is wrong we want to ask what is your mass because mass and weight and they are different so force is an example of vector weight is a force it is an example of vector because we want to specify the direction and velocity is an example of vector displacement now we discuss is an example of vector like that wherever we need to specify the direction that quantities are called a vectors and scalar quantities means they don't want to specify any direction just a magnitude enough for example mass uh we will say my my mass is 30 kg so 30 is the magnitude and kilograms the unit there is no need of any direction we want to say any direction and distance total distance uh, i am asking what is the distance between makkah and madina you will say 400 km so 400 km only we are saying 400 is the magnitude and km is the unit you 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 want you want say sir 400 km uh, south north west like that because whenever we are going we are our our road uh, it will uh, what's a it will the uh, road will go to sometime north some sometime west sometime east like that uh, not a straight road i am one example i am saying okay non consider example but displacement means only concern the two points we want to consider the whatever is happening on the path that all we discuss and all also we discuss uh, displacement may be equal distance or less than distance there is no chance for displacement greater than distance and displacement always less uh, equal or less than distance and distance always equal or greater than displacement that uh, chance only for us that we discussed the last class and another thing i ask you one question a person starting from the point a and after his travel he reaches the same point a his displacement is zero zero good that we discussed so up to the we reach the last class yeah now so this all the what say some introduction points and only we can reach the our topics so firstly we want to study speed so the saying here with one example if a car travels 300 km from liverpool to london in 5 hours that took 5 hours for uh, 
reaching 300 km. Its average speed is 300 divided by 5. You can do the calculator equal 60. So 60 the unit kilometer per hour because distance by time. Distance unit kilometer and time unit hour. So kilometer per hour. You know our car, you can see in front of the, uh, there is a meter that is called speedometer. That speedometer will show the speed. Uh, whenever we are driving, we will look the speedometer. If there are any camera, we will reduce the speed. Uh, if there is no any camera, we will increase the speed. How we are uh, checking the length and we are checking the time, then we are calculating, then we are increasing and decreasing. No, there is a meter, speedometer. That meter will show uh, uh, what is the speed now, according to that we are doing. And you can see another meter inside the car, that is called the odometer. The odometer we are using for uh, understanding the, the, the car covered total length or how much kilometer the car travel totally. Whenever we are uh, buying a second hand car, uh, we will check that all. Total how many kilometers covered like that, we will check. So uh, just I uh, explained only there are two meters. Our topic is speedometer. Okay, then here 600 kilo, uh, 60 kilometer per hour. The speedometer certainly not real 60 kilometer per hour for the whole journey, but might vary considerably from this value. You know what they are saying. Now I said that. Uh, for example, um, whenever we are uh, going from Al Baha to Taif, uh, for example, from our school, one example, when we reach the Al Baha town, automatically we will reduce the speed because there are more vehicles and the uh, pedestrian cross, maybe the People are, uh, people are trying to cross the road, so we will go slowly only. At that time, our speed will reduce. Then whenever we are reaching the junction, the traffic junction, we will reduce the speed. Uh, after the traffic junction, uh, our speed will reduce, then uh, gradually only we will increase the speed. When we are reaching the empty space, long road, there is no cross or there is there is no any bend anything. We will speed. We will increase the speed. Means uh, we can't say. See in this example here. Carefully understood what I am saying. In this example, this person. In this example, this person uh, from Liverpool to London, three hundred kilometer only, and he took five hours. So his speed is 60 km per hour. Means in each kilometer, in each meter, he traveled at 60 km per hour. That we can say. That I am saying uh, we will increase the speed and we will decrease the speed. When the uh, clouded roads or when the traffic junction, when the people are traveling or like that area, we will go slowly only. And when the road strikes, we are getting more space, we will increase the speed. You know that person may sometime, maybe he run uh, 80, 90, 100 km per hour, that much speed. And some other time, maybe he travel 30, 20, 40 km per hour like that. What I'm saying means this person speed 60 km per hour means there is no meaning all the time, all the 300 kilometer, he covered the same speed. The speed varied, the speed changed. But that is the saying for the whole journey, for the whole journey, we can't say like that. But might vary considerably from this value. Maybe the value uh, changed from 60 to above or down. That is why we state the average speed. We are saying the word average speed. Uh, the average speed means what? Uh, maybe he gone slowly or fastly, or oh, that is not a matter for us. He will consider only the total distance and the total time. Total distance and total time. That only we consider. 
That is called the average speed. Then how can we calculate the speed? Speed average speed equal to total distance covered or moved divided by total time taken. So by using that, we can find the value average speed. So its unit is kilometer per hour. If you are that is the uh, if you are measuring the distance in kilometer and if you are measuring the time in hour, you will get the value kilometer per hour. But you know our SI unit, the distance SI unit is meter and the time SI unit is second. So at SI unit, the unit of speed equal to meter per second, meter per second, that is SI unit. Uh, but in the case of a vehicle car, it will take more time, it will take more distance. That's why we are saying kilometer per hour, but the SI unit is meter per second. In the laboratories, the scientists, they are doing very fast movement and very slow movement. That way they can measure in the meter per second only, easy. Then if we go to one value in kilometer per hour, how can we change that meter per second? For meter per second, how can we change that kilometer per hour? That we want to study. I will explain that. Then, so now we discuss what is the uh, average speed. How can we find that? Everything we discuss. And here, Sir, I have a question. find the actual, wait one minute, actual speed at any instant, we would need to know the distance moved in a very short interval of time. Very short interval of time we want to know. Then only we can measure the speed at any instant means any time for a second like that. This can be done by multi-flash photography. So you can see there is a picture of a multi, multi-flash photography picture. Here is playing golf. So the ball swimming is happening within second. It's odd. By the multi-flash photography, they are showing the elaborate picture. Then, uh, this figure, the golfer is photographed with a flash lamp illuminates in 100 times a second. 100 times illuminated picture is. The speed of the club head as it's the ball is about 200 km per hour. At much high speed is going, but this is a flash. Uh, a multi glove photography we have taken. Here, you know, this is not more important. What we are saying means sometimes we want to measure a fast movement within a second, like that. So, uh, what I said, the unit kilometer per hour, how can we make convert into meter per second? Okay, what is the problem, Ahmad Kadri? Sir, hmm. uh, I have a question. Uh, yeah. Uh, in the in the in the, in the real life, it it's one hundred times, or we, we we can see it. What? The photograph, multi flash photograph. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how it's one hundred times a second? You know, actually this is then measured with a multi-flash photography in the laboratory. We can't do it. The scientists are doing that. Then for studying us, they are showing that. You know, in the biology book, we are uh, seeing the structure of cell. How can we see the structure of cell? It's very, very small. Then they are showing the magnified picture. In your book, they are writing that this much time magnified like that. So these are some magnified pictures, not the uh, real pictures. You know, when a, a, what's a, a ball throwing, this going very fastly. How can we measure the speed, the length, the, the, the time, everything? Directly we can't do. Some scientific apparatus we need. So that does say. Okay. So here, uh, one kilometer per hour means, how can we change it to meter per second? That is our topic. Listen carefully. Don't ask me again. Listen carefully. Uh, not now, later. So now you listen, you will understand. You know, how can we change kilometer to meter? Multiple with? Multiple with? Thousand. Thousand, yeah. 
thousand. So one kilometer equal to thousand meter. I changed this. Uh, no problem for you. I just return one kilometer equal to thousand meter. Okay. Then one hour means how many second or how much second? Six. Uh, one hour. Yeah. One hour. One hour. Sixty minutes. Sixty minutes and each minute have sixty seconds. Yeah. Sixty multiple sixty. Because yeah. whenever you are multiplying one hour to sixty, it will go one minute. Then that one minute again we want to multiply to sixty, we will get second. So sixty multiple sixty second. It is three thousand six hundred second. Then look here, thousand meter. Now I change the kilometer to meter and hour to second. So one kilometer equal to thousand meter divided by one hour equal to three thousand six hundred second. After that, I reduced it. This two zero I cut with this two zero. So I got ten by thirty six. Ten by thirty six. I have. I can write five by eighty. Again divided with the two. So ten divided by two five. That is six divided by eighty. So one kilometer per hour equal five by eighteen meter per second. Very easy. If you want to change kilometer per hour into meter per second, you don't want to think more. Just multiply with the five by eighty. Then that answer now change into meter per seconds. Agree or not? Hmm. What's it? Is sir, always, always. Yeah, always, always. Kilo. You know, we are we are doing generally. It is not a, not a for one or two cases. Generally. One kilometer generally thousand meter, no argument. Yeah. One hour generally three thousand six hundred second, no argument. Then yeah. I reduce it. You can do your calculator otherwise. I have I cut this two zero, this two zero. We can do mathematically. Then hundred by ten uh, by thirty six remaining. Then ten by thirty six we can write five by eighty, no problem. So yeah. if you got a value in kilometer per hour. If you want to change that meter per second, you just multiply with five by eighty. You will get that value in meter per second. Then, sir, question, uh, sir, in an, in another equation, sir, uh, I will multiply it with five by eighteen. Yeah, you can do. Okay. If you want to change kilometer per hour, okay, don't. Don't do kilometer per minute or meter per minute or meter per, uh, meter per hour like that. If you want to change kilometer per hour to meter per second, just multiply by by eighteen. Okay. Then, vice versa. If you want to change meter per second into kilometer per hour, just multiply eighteen by five. Opposite uh, reciprocal. Reciprocal of this. Meter per second to kilometer per hour, multiple with eighteen by five. Kilometer per hour to meter per second, multiple with five by eighteen. Okay. Understood. Okay. The okay. easy understood. Okay. Then, okay. That's only regarding to speed. So speed means total distance divided by total time. The second term we want to study velocity. So speed is the distance traveled in a unit of time. That one is speed. Velocity is the displacement. Actually, displacement at a particular time. Here they are saying velocity is the distance traveled in a unit of time in a stated direction. Distance in a stated direction means It's all about displacement. Okay, distance in a stated direction means it is displacement. So you can say velocity is a distance traveled in unit time in a stated direction. For example, uh, if you study this example, you will get the idea. If two trains travel due north, they are traveling to north side at twenty meter per second. Both of them, they have the same speed, twenty meter per second. Both of them, and they are moving to north direction. Same speed, twenty meter per second means in each second they are covering twenty meter. But if one train travels north 
and the other travels south. The same speed. Both are traveling 20 meter per second, but one traveling from north to south, and the other traveling from south to north. In this case, both of them speed same because speed 20 meter per second, but their velocity is not changed. Same. Their velocity changed because their direction changes. So their speeds are the same, but not their velocities since their direction of motion are different. That is the difference between speed and velocity. Speed means we want to consider only the distance and time. But in the case of velocity, you want to consider the direction also. You want to consider the direction also. So here, both the train traveling at the same speed, no problem. But their direction is changed. One from south to north, other from north to south. So their speed is same, but their velocity changed because of their direction change. Then speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity. We discussed that. Velocity, we need direction, but speed, we don't want direction. Don't worry, we will study deeply chapter 7 in this year. Don't worry. Then what is the equation? Velocity equal to distance moved in a stated direction or divided by time taken. Same equation here, distance by time taken, but here only we add at a direction. Otherwise, you can say velocity equal to displacement by time, simply displacement by time. The velocity of a body is uniform or constant if it moves with a steady speed in a straight line. You know, okay, I want to say that uh, here we studied the term average speed. Okay, have you heard the word uniform speed? Can you say what is uniform speed? What's it? Uniform, uniformity, uniform speed. The same okay. speed all the time. Yeah, yeah, all the time same speed. It means if a car starting from uh, 10 meter per second, the first kilometer, uh, okay, the first meter, then this, again the next meter, 10 meter per second, again 10 meter per second. It, all the time it is moving the same speed, that is called the uniform speed. Yeah, actually our uh, driving, our walking is not uniform. We will vary. Uniform speed we can arrange in the laboratories. And you know our clock needles, clock needles, they are uniform speed because they are covering equal distance in equal time. Clock needle like that, uniform speed. And we can arrange some uniform speed in the laboratories, science lab. Uh, the ordinary movements are non-uniform speed. So uniform speed that enough, equal distance, equal time. But uniform velocity means what? It should be equal distance in equal time and should be the same direction also. Then only we can say yes, that is a uniform velocity. Sir, I, I, I have a question in the uniform speed. Mm -hmm. um, it means a car travels five meters per second. Yeah. Then the other, the, then the other second it travel five meter, L like this. Yeah, all the huh? time. Yeah, all the time. Same speed. Okay. Yeah. So that is uniform speed. But uniform velocity means what? The velocity of a body is uniform or constant. It moves with a steady speed in straight line. Means here not only the distance and time, the direction also should be same. Uh, it is not uniform, it moves a curved path. Yeah, curved path means what? They are asking you why. Curved path, what will happen in a moment? Speed might change. Yeah. Speed only yeah. change in the curved paths. Also the direction. Good, very good. Direction. Speed maybe we can go fastly. If you are, if you are not afraid of about our body, about our car, we don't have any problem for uh, accident, we can go same speed, but direction uh, definitely changes. So, uh, in a curved path, there is no uniform velocity because at a curved path, the direction will change. They are asking you why, 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 why. So, you, are, you should say them because at a curved path, 
direction should be changed. The unit of speed and velocity are the same, kilometer per hour or meter per second, that we discuss. So here uh, we discuss that 60, uh, 60 kilometer per hour, 60 kilometer kilometer per hour. You can check if you are calculator. You can check 60 multiple uh, 5 by 8 is coming 17 or not? 50 multiple 5 by 18. Approximately it's 16.6. Yeah. Yeah, 16.6, 17. Yeah. So that is the method. Multiple with the 5 by 18. Uh, distance moved in a stated direction is called displacement. We already discussed here displacement. It is a vector quantity. It is a vector velocity may also be defined as velocity equal to displacement by time taken. We already discussed that. So speed and velocity approximately the unit everything same, the difference only the direction. Okay, you got the idea. Got it? Yeah. Yes. Okay, then next. You know, here they have here they have done the mathematical application uh, because 60 kilometer they have written uh, 6,000. Then divided by uh, one hour means 60 multiple 60 because 3,000 second. Then directly they done the calculation. Otherwise, we we have what we have done. We made a solution. We have. Uh, with multiple with uh, 5 by 18, that's enough. Otherwise, you can do this also, no problem. Then, next we want to study the third time acceleration. Acceleration means, you know, actually, uh, when velocity, uh, speed, everything happening, when the distance changing or displacement changing, then only velocity and speed is coming. You know, a car is stationary. There is speed or velocity? No. Is moving, it's changing. Like that, when the velocity is changing, uh, the acceleration will form. That is called an acceleration. When the velocity of a body changes, we say the body accelerates. So here you want to understand one thing. Change only, that's it. Change means what? Either increase or decrease. Both will come changes. In our mind, sometimes we will think like that. Change means only increasing. No. Decreasing also will come change. So, if a car starts from rust and moving to north as velocity 2 meter per second, this guy, the car is moving uh, in the north direction. So, that direction is the so velocity 2 meter per second. After one second, its velocity has increased by 2 meter per second in one second. Its acceleration is 2 meter per second due north. 2 meter per second due north. We write this 2 meter per second square. Here, there is a confusion for you. Uh, what is the definition of acceleration? Acceleration is the change of velocity in the unit time. Change of velocity. Time. time taken, yeah. For example, if a car travels 50 meter per second, firstly, it started. After that, uh, it's, sorry, 20 meter per second started. After that, its velocity increases to 50 meter per second. How can we find the change in velocity? Final velocity minus initial velocity. That is change, the difference. 20 to 50, that is 30. The total time 5, so 30 divided by 5 equal to 6. This is the acceleration, 6. Yeah. Then meter per second square, that's an important point, meter per second square. See here, uh, here velocity, velocity unit is meter per second. Then all, all divided by, here, time. Time and another second. So, this second and the second, second square is coming. Second square. 
I will explain you more if you want to explain you more from the way. Then acceleration is also a vector point because it applies to velocity. Velocity is a vector, and both its magnitude and direction should be stated. However, at present we will consider only motion in a straight line, and so the magnitude of the velocity will equal the speed, and the magnitude of the acceleration will equal to the change of speed in unit time. The speed of a car, you know. Uh, the speed of a car person on straight road are shown below. Here they are given time and speed. When the time increase, speed also increases. The speed increase by five meter per second every second. Yeah, firstly uh, at rest. After one second, it is five meter per second. Then two second, ten. Each second, five five increase. This type of motion we are called a uniform motion. This type of motion we are called a uniform motion yes. because because yeah the increasing velocity is uniformly see every time increasing five 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 yeah. uniform uh, acceleration is called a uniform acceleration. Okay, then I will ask you one question. When a car Moving, starting at a fifty meter per second. Okay, then after that, its speed decreased, velocity decreased. How can we find the change? Final velocity minus initial velocity, because now twenty only uh, at the starting time fifty. The change is twenty minus fifty means minus thirty at five second. So minus thirty by five equal to minus six meter per second square. It is what is the case? Speed decreased, velocity decreased. Start at time fifty, now twenty. So changing velocity how to find final velocity minus starting velocity. So twenty minus fifty. So we got here minus six meter per second square. So sometimes, ah, uh, you know, here I written wrongly. Actually, this twenty one here, fifty one here. So sometimes we will get the acceleration minus value. Why we are getting minus value? Because the speed velocity decreased. Velocity. This type of acceleration is called retardation or deceleration. an acceleration is positive when we will get positive if the velocity increases uh, means uh, when i am starting my velocity 20 after that uh, my velocity increases to 50 so how to find the changes 50 minus 20 so 30 but okay, sir, have... but now i am uh, now i am 50 after some time my velocity decreased to 20 so how to find the change from 20 minus 50 means my speed decreased that case an acceleration is positive then a negative acceleration is also called a deceleration or retardation this case is coming when you know when the speed decreased velocity decreased that acceleration is called a retardation And when the speed increases, that is called a uh, acceleration. So acceleration has two parts: positive and negative is called retardation or deceleration. That situation I am saying where when the speed decreasing, when the speed decreasing from 50 to 20, decreasing. So final velocity 20, initial 50. So 20 minus 50 minus 30. So minus will come. That is called retardation. Okay, what is the problem, sir? I have a question. Ah, Here, uh, he said from twenty it increased to fifty, and you wrote twenty minus fifty. Yeah, that is that is sir. Here I written. Oh, time is up. Here I written uh, wrongly. Actually, this is this is twenty and this is fifty. We are finding the final velocity minus initial sir, velocity. Sir, our time is up. Yeah. Final velocity minus yes, initial velocity. 
So 20 minus 50 minus 30. You know, minus will come. You can imagine that minus will come. That is called the Hello, yes, retardation or deceleration. Okay. Okay, we 